Chapter one, the four fundamentals of ball flight. We're talking about club face angle and swing path and how that affects your ball flight. So recently there's been, even up into the last couple years, there's been a lot, of, a lot of talk about the ball flight laws. What's causing the ball to curve? What's causing it to start where it's starting? And if you just finished chapter one, you may have a little bit better idea. Hopefully, when you see this video, it's gonna clear things up for you a little bit more. The club face is the most important or has the greatest influence on the starting line of the golf ball. So if your club face is pointed, let's say your club face is pointed directly at the target every time and you can guarantee that. You could actually alter your swing path to change the spin on the ball. So if I had my club face pointed directly at the target and I wanted the ball to curve from left to right, I could swing, I could make my swing path move to the left of the target and the ball would start directly at the target because the face is pointed there, but then curve off to the right. So if I actually wanted to play a functional shot, I would aim my club face maybe two or three degrees to the left of the target and then have my swing path more than that, maybe another two degrees more than that. So overall, I might have my club face aimed two degrees left and my swing path four degrees left, and that's going to put some side spin or, or it's going to change the axis of rotation. And we do talk about axis of rotation in chapter one, and that's a term that you probably need to know now because it's a new one, and it's the most effective way to talk about the way the ball spins. So we talk about in chapter one that the ball is spinning on a horizontal axis. And that's just because every club that you swing has loft. So when the club reaches the ball, it hits the ball with an angled face, and that's going to put a bit of backspin on the ball, or it's going to tilt the ball slightly and make it spin backwards. So that's what creates our horizontal spin axis. If we want to have any curve, that horizontal spin axis just has to shift slightly, and that's where our path and face angle come into play. So that's how we would determine or manipulate ball flight. And this is really important because not every, maybe everybody doesn't want to control their ball flight or hit a fade sometimes or hit a draw other times. But when you do hit that draw or that fade or that slice or hook and you don't like the shot and you want to make an adjustment, you have to understand what caused the ball to do what it did in order to make a positive adjustment after that. So that's everything we go over in chapter one. Club face, club fat, path, and horizontal axis of rotation and how when we tilt or shift that axis of rotation we can then curve the ball from left to right or right to left.